Gentlemen, great to see you again. What's happening other than we have samples? <laughs> uh, you don't know how excited I am. Welcome back, my friends, to the Tiege Hanley. Starting a business, building a brand vlog. This one, lucky number 13. And it's only appropriate that this vlog, being 13, being that it's lucky 13, would be all about the Tiege Hanley samples that we recently received. So today we're going to talk all about the samples. Now, I'm not going to go into the details in terms of what products we actually are going to be launching with, but I will say this. I'm going to give you a little... <laughs> they're going to be mad at me for telling you this, but one of the products right here, right? Tiege Hanley Eye Cream. I will go out on a limb and say, not even on a limb, I am going to say unequivocally that this is the absolute hands down best eye cream I have ever used and I have used a ton. Seriously, this is awesome. You know what else is awesome? Where is it? This. And that one needs work. This. All right, so here's the deal. The other day I received my package of Tiege Hanley samples. All these are sample products. They came from the chemist. He basically packaged up samples, sent them all to Rob, Ke Rob Kelly and I, and the idea was that nobody was going to talk about what they thought until we tried all of them. Then we were going to come together, we were going to discuss what we thought of each individual products, what we liked, what we didn't like, and what needs to be changed. Three of the products were absolutely, hands down, perfect. And when I mean perfect, I mean super freaking perfect. They are, I am, <laughs> if you can't tell how excited I am, this is what I was hoping for. This is what Rob and Kelly and the chemist were hoping for. Superior products that do what they say they're going to do and that just kick so much ass it's ridiculous. Three of the products, they do that. The other products, although awesome, need a little bit of work. Not a ton, but there were some things that we definitely needed to change. And so we, uh, we sent everything and our feedback back to the chemist and said, hey, these products, don't touch them, they're perfect. These products, however, there were like three or four others that weren't 100%. And so there were some things that I want to change or Rob want to change or Kelly want to change. We weren't unanimously excited or there, we're, we're excited about all of it, <laughs> but we weren't 100% satisfied with a few of the products. And so the process is we send it back with our notes and the chemist, because he is a chemist and this is what he does, he knows what he needs to change or modify in order to bring the products up to our standards and what we're looking for. And so the process right now, he's changing the products that need to be changed. We're gonna try them again. Once we get it, once we nail it, that's when we actually can send the formulations 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 off and actually start having batches mixed packaged and all that good stuff it, <laughs> it's so simple <laughs> not simple but it's so exciting and it's really just you know there's there's nothing like having a vision there's nothing like having a goal and actually starting to see it come to fruition. For those of you out there that are entrepreneurs or that are thinking about starting a business, that moment, there's a moment in every business when it goes from concept to reality and getting the samples and actually trying them and falling in love with them, that was the point for me and I think for Rob and Kelly as well where you know we can talk all day about skincare and about the products and about they're going to be amazing that, but until the rubber hits the road, until we actually get to put the stuff on our skin, that's when it became a reality, like a bigger reality for me and I know for the, the other guys as well. And there comes a time in every business, every entrepreneur's sort of ride and journey that you have these, these moments. And you need to just, don't be so focused on long range, enjoy it. Just know that you've done an amazing job to get to this point. Celebrate the successes. Now, don't rest on your laurels. This doesn't mean that you can stop and just be like, yoo-hoo, and buy your yacht. There's a whole lot of work that needs to happen. 
But celebrating the successes and acknowledging when something goes your way and something goes right. I know for me personally, one of the issues that, that I've had in, in a lot of my businesses is that I don't really take time to appreciate the good stuff. And this, this is the good stuff. And um, God, couldn't be any happier. Um, it's an amazing, amazing opportunity. And I'm so excited to share this with you guys. You guys have been such an amazing part of the process. The answers, the feedback that you guys are giving us. If you're not signed up to our email list over at tige.com, you are absolutely missing out on helping us make this product line and this company the best that it possibly can be. And so make sure to go and sign up if you're not, because we've got a lot more feedback that we're going to need before this actually goes to launch. I mean, we're changing. That's the other cool thing about this product and this, this, this company is that we are so fluid because we're small, because we are sort of figuring it out to some degree as we go based on your feedback, we're able to be nimble. We're able to change on a dime and basically be like, yo, since nothing is set in stone, nothing is solidified, we can actually be creative throughout the process. And it's, it's, it's something that I've never had the opportunity to do before. And it's just so incredibly sweet. Uh, but one of the questions that we had on a recent blog, I just wanted to take some time next week and actually talk about. The question was, how do we come up with the name, Tiege Hanley, and how did we come up with the tagline, Uncomplicated Skin Care for Men? Um, these are both incredibly important. And, and you know, creating a name and coming up with a name for your business and company, that's the fun stuff. That's stuff that you get to really think outside of your box, you get to be creative, and you get to test a few different things. But I think next week, that's what we're going to focus on. Because picking the name, you know, picking the tagline and all that, it does have to do with branding, but it's definitely going to take a little bit more time and a deeper discussion than, than we have time for today. But today is a good day, gentlemen. The products are amazing. The ones that aren't quite 100% amazing, they're moving in the right direction. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the comments. Thank you so much for the feedback. We could not, and when hear me when I say this, we could not do this without you and without your help. And together we're going to build this damn thing pretty big and we are going to kick some serious ass. And you were there from the beginning. And so that in my mind is, is pretty sweet and we are absolutely incredibly grateful. Guys, thanks for watching.